Welcome to Climax Academy Live. I'm Erica Jackson, the h &S General Manager, and with me is John Gajowski, our Lead Technician for the Boiler Gun and Power Bubbler line. Today's demo is over the PB6 Power Bubbler. The range of this machine is 1.7 inch ID to 7 inch OD, with a primary function of putting an OD bevel on a tube or pipe. We are featuring a 37 degree bevel in the demo, um, but you actually have several different bevels that you can do with this machine depending on your tooling. Um, we're actually going to show you how to time a blade as well in the, in the video. And some of you might be thinking, well, timing a blade, what does that mean? Timing a blade means that your first blade, you're going to stop actually against the pipe or tube after doing a couple passes. Um, so what this does is it lines up your blade um, on the actual pipe or tube so that your second one can be touching that pipe or tube as well. So you're gonna slide that in. So you'll see that in the video. Um, and what that does is it helps you stabilize your cut. Um, the second blade will help open up that and it'll give it more stable stabilization as it's cutting or beveling. Um, so um, the reason why you would want to do the second blade would be because of heavy wall or hard material. Um, and again, like the boiler guns, this machine can do counter bores, compound bevels, reverse bevels, shortening of tubes and J preps. Um, I also want to um, remind all operators, when you are operating this machine, please go over the manual prior to operation um, and be sure that you have the proper PPE. And then finally, do a risk assessment of your surroundings. That includes other operators that might be using equipment around you as well. If you have questions during the video, um, go to the bottom of your screen and hit Q&A and type in your question. And then right after the video, we'll go over those questions and answer them. Um, but with that being said, let's watch the demo of the PV6. Thank you for joining h &S Tool, a Climax company, in the proper setup and demo of a PB6. When opening up your box, you'll find a manual for proper setup and safety. First, pull your hose and oiler out, and you'll attach to your air source using your safety clips. All hose and oilers have a valve on the top that you can adjust. It is always set off when you receive the machine for safety purposes. You want to pull your machine out. This is the PV6. PV6 has a sliding tool holder and then it has base wedges. Please refer to your manual in order to view which wedge sets or and extensions you will require for your ID. Measure your ID. Five and three eighths. About five and three eighths. And again. Refer to your manual for the proper extension. Okay. All extensions have the screws embedded in them. Simply screw the extension onto the base.
as you can see, attaching the extensions only take a couple minutes. <laughs> That's your stupid. <sighs> Now your ID locking device is completely attached for your proper ID. This ID locking device is self-centering. We're going to pick up the machine. And slide it in about an inch in or as much material you're going to be taking off. You're going to lock down your ID locking device. As you can see again, it's self-centering as you're locking it completely down. Again, we do not have the air hooked up yet. We are installing one of the SM base blades. These blades can do approximately 25 bevels, depending on your material and your operator before it needs to be resharpened. Now he was just feeding it down just a little bit using this back feed wrench so that we get a little bit closer to the piece in order to line up the blade. Again, Please ensure that you have the proper PSI and volume for this machine to ensure that you get the proper and best finish on your pipe or tube. This blade that we're putting in, he's just locking down. Again, you're gonna line it up with your tuber pipe with a little bit of an overhang. this time you can hook up your air please ensure that you used again the safety clips and you'll see at the very top this is to ensure that you can vary your air intake So you can hear a little bit of that air coming through as he's opening it up. So we stopped it against the piece because we're going to time another blade. This is the only time you would want to stop against the piece with your tooling. So as you can see, you slid in another piece right up against. And he's just tightening it down. You're going to want to use two blades generally when it's heavier wool. But this also gives the machine a little bit more stability since this is a heavy duty motor. And it's going to be a little bit more stable. So he did pull it away before we started it back up. And there is your two pins that we pulled it through. And he's going to pull it out. Thank you.
going to turn off the air using your Using your wrench, it, you can take out the machine and you're complete. Your bevel is complete. And that was the PB6. Hopefully you enjoyed the, video, the demo video. Um, before I get to the questions, if you're looking for pricing, please go to the website. Um, you can either find your area sales manager um, in your area on the website, or you can request a quote right through the website as well. It's climaxportable.com. Um, but let's go ahead and look at some of those questions. Okay. Why do you want the blade to hang over? Go ahead, if you don't mind, John, explain that for us. Well, we want the blade to hang over a little bit off the workpiece because not every not every tube and pipe is perfectly round. So you want that blade to hang over just a little bit so you ensure that you get a complete bevel. Okay. Um, so real quick, um, Jim, so you're saying also that you don't actually have to have it centered, right? No. On the actual blade. So no. you could use that full, the full surface of the blade to get those 25 bevels. Yeah, you have the whole surface here you can use. Okay. Um, let me see here. What type of metal did we use um, for the demo pipe? Was that just carbon steel? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, another one is, what's one of the biggest issues you see with this machine? Well, one of the biggest issues that we get is, is people do not use clean air. You got water and dirt in it, not enough CFMs or PSIs. You need 65 CFMs and 90 PSIs for this motor to run right. It does not run good when you put water through the line. Um, with that being said, I have another question about um, does it require um, water, separator, uh, water separator or lubricator? Um, so we do have our actual hose and oiler with a lubricator on there. So we'll bring that over here. Um, John, if you don't mind explaining that real quick. So this is your oiler that comes with it. This is a constant feed oiler. So as long as the motor is running, it will put drops of oil in every so many seconds. Daily, you need to check the sight glass to make sure there's plenty of oil in it. To put oil in it, you want to Turn the air off, release the pressure on the release valve. With an inch and a half wrench, take this nut off. And inside you'll see a dial indicator. You fill the oil up until it just covers that. Put this back on, hook the air up, and you're ready to go. When we send the air oiler out, we have a flow valve on it. We turn the flow valve off for your safety. So when you turn the air on, it don't just take off by chance. So you have to set this to your desired RPM, which this allows you to go from zero to 40 RPM. Okay, thank you. Um, let me see here. What tooling is offered? Um, so again, we have the standard T15 tooling um, that goes with our boiler guns and our uh, power beveler line. That is the st standard material blade that we send out is T15. Um, we do have carbide again. Um, and then we also have a nitride coating for um, our T15 material blades if you require it. We do make custom blades for customers. Um, so any of your custom blades that you get made can also be uh, nitride coated as well um, if, that's, if that's necessary. Um, so we make J-Prep blades, we make compound blades um, of all different types. Um, so don't let that scare you. We have another one um, that says, what sizes um, do you have for these machines available? So we, the PB6 is the smaller one of the power bevelers. Um, then we go to a PB8 um, that goes up to eight inch OD. 
Then we have the PB12, that actually goes up to 14 inch, um, but then you can have an extended um, pool holder put on it if you require that, that can go all the way up to 16 inch. And then we have the PB30, um, that can go all the way up to 30 inch. Um, all of that is on our website, so you can look at all the specs of those machines on our website. Um, it'll tell you the kind of motors that they um, have for each one of those machines um, available, because I know like some of these machines come in hydraulic um, as well. So you can uh, definitely check that out on our website. And then let me see here. Do we have rental machines available? Yes, we do. Um, you can, again, if you would like to get more information on our rental machines, um, we can definitely get you that information. Again, our area sales managers are um, on all of our websites. You can get a hold of them. And we also have a great rental team. Um, we have fleets all over the United States, um, actually all over the globe. But as far as domestically, um, we have several locations all over the United States. So just because um, like we're in Ohio right now, we have a warehouse in Ohio. There's some down in the Gulf, so Texas, Louisiana. We have our um, parent, we have our headquarters that is in Oregon, um, and then we have other depots located all over the place as well. So um, it's not going to just ship from across the United States. It could definitely be right in your backyard. Um, can you control the rotation speed? So again, on our hose and oiler, he's going to bring this back up again. On our hose and oiler. We have a uh, valve control. Yeah, the, the flow valve is what we were talking about earlier. It comes all the way off. You'll see that it's color coded. All the way open to the silver is going to give you 40 RPMs, and you can slow it down as you turn it in. Heavier wall, you're going to want to slow it down. Harder, you're going to want to slow it down. A thin wall, crank it wide open. This baby will cut it. So I don't know if you guys kind of noticed it, um, if you were able to join in a little bit sooner um, and saw one of our videos of our machine compared to a competitor's machine. Um, so one of the great things about our tooling is it has a, a really nice chip breaker on it. Um, we make all of those, um, all that tooling in-house. And the nice thing about that chip breaker is that, um, well, and John can explain it a little bit more, but you'll see it actually chips the um, ribbon off before it gets to be to a dangerous level. Um, John, you want to explain what kind of happened in your video? And So when we were using the competitor's blade and machine against the PV6, I ran our machine, it'll get like a, a chip three, four inches, and then it breaks it off. I ran theirs, it was like 14 inches, and three different times it almost smacked me in the face. So I think with the chip breaker, you're going to like it a lot better. It's going to give you a safer and a cleaner cut. Well, looks like that's all I have for questions today. If you have any more questions, you can send them to askcpmt at cpmt.com and we'll get right back to you. We have a technician um, and our technical support standing by. Um, and thanks again for joining the PB6 and stay safe.